everyone, Colton Ryan here. If you haven't watched yet, you should check out my um, first sit down video, um, informative video about Huskies called Owning a Husky. I will put that link here somewhere. <laughs> so check that out too if you are researching Huskies and thinking about you're adopting or buying a Husky. Today we are going to talk about Huskies temperament a little bit more in depth. What we're going to focus on today is are Huskies vicious? As always with any breed, I will say no. It all depends on the owners, how the pup is brought up, if it's properly socialized, and I feel like no breed is vicious. And I hate the stereotypes on some breeds, how some breeds are banned from places, and Huskies are included in that as one of the breeds that's commonly banned from places. Most commonly people, because it's, it seems to rotate breeds, every so often they pick a breed that's this vicious, terrifying dog that, you know, every single one is a terror and is going to be an awful companion. Because, you know, we had what was it, the Dobermans, the Rottweilers, German Shepherds, and then more recently Pitbulls. And in my personal belief, there's no vicious dog. There's no breed that should be considered a vicious dog um, completely as a whole breed. Unfortunately, there are dogs who are very unsocialized, that are feral, and sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately, once there's a certain point. Moving back to where we're discussing, Huskies are sometimes thrown into that bunch of being a vicious dog or something that you don't want as a family pet. I think that's mostly because of how energetic and anxious they can get. With any dog, there are going to be cases of, you know, biting or bad temperament towards the human. You just never know what your dog could be experiencing. You have to pay attention to them and look at them. Look at the, the way their body is. Are they really tense and rigid? Are their eyes nervous looking? You just have to pay attention to all that stuff in order to make sure you're keeping your dog happy and calm. The most common thing that I have seen with Huskies when it comes to biting, it's really sad. A lot of it has to do with the owners not paying attention and not listening to what the dog is trying to tell them. I've seen where there's small children and the dog is clearly trying to get away from the child and the adult, you know, notices that and acknowledges, you know, the dog is getting kind of upset. But instead of them telling the child, no, leave the dog alone, you're making the dog upset, they let it happen. One of the instances I have no other is a dog and she climbed underneath the table because she didn't want to be messed with by the kid and the parent let the kid climb underneath the table and what do you know the dog got stressed out and bit the kid and then the people got rid of the dog why is that the dog's fault the dog was trying to get away somewhere that it could be comfortable because it was uncomfortable the dog was getting stressed out why is it the dog's fault that it bit your kid? So that seems to be the most common thing along with how Huskies have very high tendencies to kill small animals because they have such a high prey and sometimes cats, squirrels, um, moles, small animals like that, sometimes they can kill them. Some seem more interested than others. Some Huskies get along great with cats. They'll be best friends, they'll be curled up together and all happy. Colt doesn't seem to mind cats. He seems really interested in them, but he hasn't. <laughs> Colt seems really interested in cats, but he's never really done anything that suggested that he would want to hurt a cat. He did accidentally, or, well, I can't say accidentally. He did grab a hold of a kitten one time, but at the same time, he was very excited because we were visiting people that he knew and the, the kitten shouldn't have been brought over at that time when it was. So, kitten was okay. I think it just kind of 
kind of scared him a little bit. If anything, Colt's really interested in squirrels, especially right now with the fall. We have so many trees in our backyard, the acorns falling and everything. We have so many trees in the backyard. Every time we go outside, he goes insane because <laughs> there's always at least like five squirrels in the backyard. He, he wants to chase them so bad and he wants to catch them, but I don't know if he ever will. <laughs> I think it's all a part of the chase, not necessarily to kill. But huskies are working dogs and they need loads and loads of exercise. They need to be able to run and or go on long walks. Like if you're not holding up that side of the bargain for them and you're not getting them out, they get anxious and it's just like a ticking time bomb. Like all the energy just builds up and if you don't take care of it, you know, that they could go and eat like a cushion of your couch or um, something similar and sometimes it even leads to a bite that's not fair based on the dog either that sometimes it can be based off of that um, when it's just something with the breed you have to make sure you're properly exercising the dog and it has to be active there are many apartment complexes and even houses that some people won't allow huskies along with the pits and dobermans and rots um malamutes too they seem to get thrown in there with that too every once in a while but that might be because um of how large malamutes are and nowhere or form is cult vicious he wants to be everybody's friend <laughs> he does not have a mean bone in his body we have only had one negative experience with him and it wasn't his fault it was the other dog the other dog wasn't socialized with other dogs and we attempted to introduce the two dogs and they were both on their leashes made sure that we kept them on a short line too just in case the one dog decided she didn't want him anywhere near her and that ended up being the thing she got very aggressive and poor colt ended up peeing himself <laughs> i had to pull him back and he just like he peed everywhere so that's the only negative experience we've had. And like I said, it wasn't even Cole. Cole wants to be everybody's friend. It doesn't matter if you're a dog, if you're a person, a kid. He loves kids. I mean, I'm the oldest of five. So with my family, it ranges from my brother that's 18 to my youngest sister that's six. So he loves kids. He does a good job with kids. And we made sure that he was really socialized with kids because of that. From as soon as we got him, we tried to make sure that he saw my younger siblings more so he was familiar with them and comfortable with kids. Someone was actually joking on the Husky Huddle group that we're a part of and like, oh, if somebody broke into my house, we'd be screwed. Like my dog would probably show them where everything is and roll over for belly scratches and whatnot. And that's totally Huskies in a nutshell. They love everybody and they want to be everybody's friends and they are definitely not a guard dog. The only thing that makes sense as to why Huskies have been thrown into this category is that they're very energetic and if you aren't taking the time to properly exercise them and get them out, they can build up all of that energy and they get really anxious and sometimes they can just snap. But other than that, there's, there's nothing about Huskies at all that I would say is vicious. Always, always research. The breed that you're looking at getting you know there's so many breeds all dogs are cute and beautiful in their own way but certain breeds like this aren't meant for everybody and it's best to take time to research read over the temperament of the breed read over how much energy they have how much work you're gonna have to actually put in to having a husky or any other type of dog so thanks for watching guys i'm sorry that colt was not in this too awful much we went to the park before this so i was hoping that you know maybe he'd be pooped out and kind of sitting here with me but apparently he had other things in mind but thanks for watching guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and hope we'll see you in our next video bye guys